Hey guys, welcome to the Jason Saunders channel. I've got some stuff. I got some things that are groovy and awesome and fabulous, fantastic, adventurous, fantastical, mystical, beautiful. Did we, I think we already said beautiful. Uh, and awesome here on the channel. And uh, here we go. I've got a new shirt on. Batman. Little Batman love there this morning. Uh, yeah. Have you guys, are you guys excited for the new Batman Michael Keaton Flash movie Batman? That will be coming out, I don't know, probably next year. Probably. They're, they're still filming it now, I think. But uh, I'm just excited to see Michael Keaton return to his role. I, I mean, like, people that were kind of, like, born in the 70s and 80s. Michael Keaton was king. Like, he is... He's on the top podium for Batman, you know. Uh, Christian Bale did a um, an awesome job as Batman, but uh, yeah, and uh, the the Twilight dude, whoever I can't think of his name, Robert Patterson, is it? Maybe that's kind of the first name that popped in my head. Anyway, guys, we've got Nintendo DS and uh, 3DS uh, game collection. This will be part one, going on on episode number thirty three. It'll be exciting times, I'm sure, for all of you viewers here on the channel. Thank you for all of my subscribers, and uh, and for new people coming on, I, I welcome you, and uh, hopefully we have a good time here. We're going to have a good time. All right, here we go. Let's get it on. We've got uh, LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. There we go. Uh, this game's pretty good for a DS game. Uh, yeah, it's everything's in here, you know, all the characters and uh, everything from the other console uh, versions. Pretty impressive. So there's that one, and now we've got Pokemon Ultra Sun, the 3DS. I haven't put a whole lot of time into this one yet, but uh, you know, uh, these games are highly collectible and go up in value pretty quick. Um, but yeah, there's that one. In nice condition. That's short for condition. Yes, I'm making that word cool now. Condition. Let's get crack a lankin'. All right. Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. Here we go. Um, yeah, this is a good strategy game. Uh, very nice on the 3DS. Some nice effects, some nice graphics. Overall, good game. I think they came up with three for the uh, 3DS. We've got Star Wars 3 Lego. Uh, again, uh, pretty nice on the 3DS. Uh, I always kind of like what the 3DS can do graphic-wise. Uh, it's a pretty cool system, you know. We've got Tank Beat. Can it beat it? I don't know. I haven't beaten this. I haven't beaten Tank Beat. It beats me. Why well, I can't beat Tank Beat. Anyway. Yeah, this one's a strategy game. Pretty neat. It's got, like, anime characters in it. Uh, it's it's kind of cool. I got it for $10. Way back when, once upon a time. This one has gotten up in value. And uh, I've gotten this one uh, probably... 10 years ago, plus, probably. Uh, it's a Zuna 2. Yeah, this one's gotten crazy. Uh, it's gotten up. But it's 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 not too bad. It's all right. It's, uh, it's kind of like a, a dungeon crawler sort of thing. Overview. Hack and slash anime fiesta. It's a fiesta for your mind. Uh, Nanostray 2. Simply Stunning by Play Magazine. Uh, it's a cool game. It's a smop, spaceship smop. Very cool. Uh, I don't think this one's too expensive. I'm not exactly sure how many Nano Stray games they had. Maybe three. I know they made two because that's the second one. So They made a one and a two. I know I'm a genius. I know. <laughs> Adventure Time. Explore the dungeon because I don't know. And that's... That's what the title, I'm not lying. Yeah, that's what the title says there. 
I'm just, I'm not making it up. <laughs> I actually kind of like this game. I like the Adventure Time cartoon. It's wacky. It's crazy. Um, kind of reminds me of, like, Diablo. It's, uh, it's cool. I, I, yeah, I want to get back into this one. I kind of like it. Shibby Robot Ziplash. This game is very cool. A cool action game uh, where you've, you've, you know, like a Tin Man robot thing. And you've got a power cord and you're swinging around and using it to <laughs> attack enemies and get through, like, uh, high on platforms like a utility belt, sort of like Batman with his, you know, Gatling gun. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Um, pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm still kind of trying to get into these games. I, you know, I play them for a little bit and I just kind of, eh. I know people are create. This is kind of like the new craze. I know a lot of people are into this. I uh, just haven't quite gotten into it yet, <laughs> but uh, I, I can see where the, you know, all the hype is for sure. I had to give that one a, a go again. Um, Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Now, I think this came out for the PlayStation 1, and they ported it over to the DS. I'm pretty sure. But it's, uh, it's a cool game, you know. Um, it's got those, you know, SNES character sprites slash PlayStation 1 character sprites. Kind of neat. Lego Batman 2. That's a good game for the 3DS. Uh, Sonic All-Star Racing Transformed. Uh, this is a pretty solid racer. Pretty nice graphics. And uh, it's, it looks pretty good. Uh, it came out for the consoles again, but uh, it does a pretty good job here. I mean, it's uh, not as graphical and polished and super nice as uh, the console versions, but it's not bad. It's not too bad. It still looks pretty. Bravely Second End Layer. This game is impressive. It's a nice RPG. They also uh, did an, a Bravely Default for the um, the Switch, which I've gotten into. I haven't completed it, but uh, these are good RPGs. If you like uh, the old style Final Fantasy RPGs, that sort of like turn-based stuff, uh, you'll you'll like this one for sure. Lost in Blue Two. It's a Bluetooth. Almost sounds like Bluetooth, like I'm saying Bluetooth. Um, yeah, this game is kind of interesting. It's you're you're uh, stranded on an island, and it's like survive. It's a survival game and slash RPG. It's kind of cool. Um, give this one a try. Definitely unique. Ragnarok DS. Um, it's all right. Um, it's an RPG game. You can also, I think you can play it online as well. I haven't played this one for ages. I'll have to try this one again, but it's, it's fun. It's not too bad. And then we've got Angry Birds Star Wars. This is a, a printed, you know, there's nothing on the back. It's just a printed, um, uh, you know, cover for it. Luigi's Mansion. Uh, yeah, this game's classic. Very nice. Then they did uh, another Luigi's Mansion 2 or Secret Moon. Uh, we'll get to that one. But that was like one of the last... It was like near the end of the 3DS. Then we've got ba uh, Lego Battles Ninjago. Uh, this game's kind of cool. It's uh, a strategy game. Like if you like... Uh, Command and Conquer, Red Alert, or any of that sort of stuff, or like StarCraft or Warcraft, like the older games, the older um, strategy games, uh, you'll like this one. This game's really cool, actually. That's the same sort of thing. Very neat. Batman, the original Lego uh, video game. This is nice on the DS. It, uh, you know, for five bucks, uh, this game is excellent. It's a lot of fun. Then we got uh, Sonic Chronicles, The Dark Brotherhood. This is an RPG game, kind of like a storybook. Uh, with storybook graphics, kind of like a drawn out 2D background. It's kind of cool. Almost like it's like somebody colored it with a pencil crayon or something. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad. 
get more games out of the box. Uh, Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Um, this game's pretty good. The loading times are a little annoying sometimes, but uh, the graphics are pretty nice. It's got all the stuff in the console versions. And then we've got Lego Battles, which I think this is the original, the first one to come out for Lego Battles. And this one's a lot of fun, too. It's the same thing. It's got the strategy. You know, you get units to build your bases and stuff like that. And it's, yeah, it's really cool. Lego Chima, Lego Chima, uh, Laval's Journey. This game's kind of cool. Graphics are pretty nice on this one. Uh, Lego Chima wasn't one of the more famous uh, Lego series or whatever. So <laughs> a lot of people don't know about this one, but it's not too bad. It's also for the DS as well. Guilty Gear Dust, yeah, Dust Strikers. This game's not too bad. I was, I didn't even know this existed, and I'm, I'm a big Guilty Gear fan. I really like, like uh, the Guilty Gear stuff. They, it's an interesting. They kind of switched it up. It's like platforms. You've got all the Guilty Gear characters, but you're battling on platforms. So it's almost like Smash Bros. Sort of. It's kind of neat. It's kind of. I, I like this one. I think it's the first and only cartridge-based Guilty Gear, so that's kind of neat. Metroid Samus Returns, and it's got the cool little flashy box here. Uh, this game's awesome. I think I like this one even more so than the um, the one on the Switch that came out. I don't know, this one just... It's got more colors, and it's more vibrant, and I don't know, there's just more stuff going on. I don't know, I like this one. I, I I would love it if they ported this one over to the Switch. I, I'd buy it in an instant. Man, I got a lot of Lego games. <laughs> Here we go, Lego Jurassic World. Yeah, this game's fun. Again, it's like the same experience on the consoles. It's onto the 3DS, so it's cool. It's got all the, the Jurassic Park movies. Well... The ones that were available at the time. <laughs> Dominion won't be on there. They'll have to do another Lego game to smush in uh, Dominion in there. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Another one. Batman 3. Uh, it's a good game. It's good. If you like Batman, you like Lego, any of that stuff. Uh, Super Mario Maker 3DS. Um, not the best platform to play it on, but uh, I've got it here anyway. You can make your own levels. And uh, you got the single player stuff to go through. It can be a lot of challenging and a lot of fun at the same time. Here's a classic Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. I've got all three Castlevanias um, here, but uh, yeah. So they had three for the uh, the DS here, and uh, it's good. This was the last one of the three to come out. Uh, art is just amazing on this one. Probably one of my favorite. Uh, out of all the systems here. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, uh, female uh, character, and she, she kicks butt. Lego Indiana Jones. God, they made a lot of Lego games for these things. This game's a lot of fun, actually. Uh, really cool. If you like the Lego Indiana, jo uh, Indiana Jones movies, mostly, I think you'll like that one. Um, Sands of Destruction. Cool RPG by Sega. Sega! Sorry. Okay, I wasn't that. Uh, yeah, this game's really good. Nice uh, character sprites and all that stuff. It's got a lot of voice samples. Pretty solid RPG. Cut the rope. Triple treat. Kind of a cool game. Uh, simplistic, but fun. I think you use the touch screen on. I haven't played this one for a while. Um, <laughs> it's got some cute little... He plays these little dudes, little green dudes here. Very nice. Pokemon Ultra Moon. Another Pokemon game. Um, yeah, this... I mean, it's fun. I'm not totally into the Pokemon games, but I like to pick up one, you know, a couple here and there. Uh... Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor. This is the first one, uh, the first game out of the two to come out. Pretty heavy duty in the story, and it's a difficult RPG, um, but a lot of fun. Highly collectible. 
will be worth uh, something very soon. I'm sure it's probably already getting up there. Luminous Art 2, music CD included. I've got the box. It came with a, a box and the CD and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I've got that here somewhere as well. <laughs> but a uh, cool strategy game, anime style characters and story and all that stuff. Tales of the Abyss by Namco, which originally this game came out for the PlayStation 2, and I, I missed out on it. Uh, I almost got it when it came out, and uh, I got something else. I forget what I got. Probably another RPG game. But, um, yeah, so I had to get this. <laughs> it's brutal, though, at the beginning. you <laughs> you got to, like, train a lot right at the very start. Because uh, there's a, a boss that'll just kick your butt, pretty much. You think you're doing good, and you get to the boss, and it's like, yeah, you're not doing so good. <laughs> yeah. Teenage Zombies. I like this one a lot. It's, you play as the three zombies, and uh, you gotta use them. You gotta switch them to kind of get in uh, further in the levels. They kind of do their own thing. Very cool. I highly suggest this one. It's a lot of fun. I don't think it costs a whole lot, too. And it's got sweet 2D animation. Nice game design. Really cool. I like it. <clears throat> Here we go, another Lego. Uh, Lego the Hobbit. Not too bad of a game. I think it's more kind of battle-based. Uh, Angry Birds Trilogy. I'm a fan of the Angry Birds, and uh, yeah, I had to get the physical stuff. Uh, Disney's Alice in Wonderland. Uh, this game has some cool art. It's very neat. It's a cool, cool game, actually. Um, check this one out. A lot of, it's a lot of fun. Lego Harry Potter years five and seven. This is like ninety percent Lego games here. Holy moly! I didn't <laughs> realize I had this many Lego stuff. All right. Lego everywhere. Oh my goodness! Lego and my ego. We got uh, view, beautiful, beautiful. Sorry, Joe. Double Trouble, Capcom. Very cool fighting game, Brawler. Uh, I think it came out for, what was it? The, the GameCube, I think, originally. But uh, really cool game. It's got nice cel-shaded graphics. Kelvin Tucker's Redneck Farm Animal Racing Tournament. Um, nothing special here. Got it for a few dollars. <laughs> it's the best game in the world. No. This one goes for a bit. Uh, Super Robot Tyson OG Sega Endless Frontier. Uh, yeah, it's a cool RPG. It's got uh, Cosmos from Xeno Gears. Xeno Sega, I forget which one now. It's been a while. Uh, one of those. And uh, yeah, very cool. The combat system is pretty awesome. Do all sorts of crazy stuff. Cats climb the uh, stairs as we speak. Um, Adventure Time. Hey, Ice King, why do you steal our garbage? So there's that one. This game's pretty cool. Um, it's like an adventure RPG game. It's got some great music, great animation. I uh, highly suggest this one. It's really neat. Strawberry Shortcake, the Four Seasons Cake. Um, this game's actually a half-decent platformer. I know, right? Yeah, strawberry shortcake here, yeah. But it's, it's not too bad. It's kind of like Mario. It's actually, it's, it's not bad. Yeah, that for a couple of dollars. Mario Kart 7. I mean, you know, this is like a must-have for the system. And it comes with a nice red case. Very fancy, very nice. And we've got, I think I've already done that one. All right. We've got Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS. Uh, they did a nice job here. We've got a long a cast of characters. Um, this game's actually kind of fun. We've got for $6. Suzuki Super Bikes 2 Riding Challenge. This is a nice little racer. Not too bad. Got some nice graphics to boot, too. I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but I will show you anyway. 
And we got Lego Indiana Jones 2. God, did they make like a hundred Lego games for the system or what? But they're, this game's pretty good too. Tenkai Knights Brave Battle. Kind of an interesting mech game. Uh, you can get it pretty cheap. Less than $10, so kind of a nice game to snag. Kind of a cool anime game there. Oh, look at this. It's another Lego game. Who would have guessed? A Lego movie video game. Uh, this is different from the console versions because it's more of an isometric view. But it's the same game, but just in that view. So it's kind of neat. Uh, it's kind of interesting, actually. So it's not the full 3D. It's isometric. Uh, brave. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There he is. Bravely Default. The original, very nice game. Uh, I think it's a must-have for the system, if, especially if you're an RPG game. If you don't like RPGs, I, I don't know if you like it, <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Wonder Games. This game's not too bad. Uh, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool games. There's uh, snowboarding and boxing and all that crazy stuff. <laughs> Different sorts of stuff. I got a printed version of uh, it's the game, the real game's in there, but uh, it's Mario Golf World Tour. Uh, not a bad golf game. Is it my favorite? No, it's not. I think I like the Game Boy Advanced Mario Golf. That might, or maybe the one for the N64, one of those. Jake Hunter, Detective Chronicles. Anime style game. You're a detective solving cases, solving crimes. Catching the bad dudes who did the crimes. Putting them in jail. Enough said. Sui Coden. Here, Chris. I think this one goes for a little bit. I like the Sui Coden series. I got uh, the first one for the PlayStation 1. Um, and I got some for the PlayStation 2 as well. Uh, but very cool. Uh, I like this one. They did a nice job. There's a lot of voice acting. And uh, the battles are cool. It's just a nice RPG game on the system. Persona Q, Shadow of the Labyrinth. Uh, this is kind of like a side game of the Persona series. Uh, with some of like, the characters from the previous games. Uh, pretty cool. If you know uh, anything about Persona, you know what to expect here. <laughs> RPG fair, uh, really difficult, but a lot of fun. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. This is the second game to come out. Uh, amazing game, really nice. Did I do this one yet? Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. I don't think I did. <laughs> it's another Lego game. Goodness gracious. What are we doing for the time? We've got Final Fantasy. There we go. Nice little case there. I mean, this is classic. How are we doing for the 23? Okay, we got a couple minutes. Need for Speed Nitro. This game's all right. Not too bad. For the uh, original DS. Paper Mario Sticker Stir. Not too bad. We've got uh, The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Game's pretty classic. It's got the nice golden seal there. Uh, Pookie Poochie. <laughs> Pookie Poochie. Pookie Poochie. And Yoshi's Woolly World. Nice art there. I like that a lot. Very good Yoshi game. Okay. Shin Megami Tensei. This game's uh, highly... Um, I don't know. What am I trying to say? <laughs> a lot of people like this game. It's. Uh, I think it's going up in price as well. My mind just kind of went blank there. What do I... How do I talk? Uh... Metroid Prime Hunters. This is a really nice uh, game here. First person shooter. Very nice. Uh, Radiant Historia. Very nice RPG game. I think this one's going up in price as well. Cool RPG. Orcs and Elves. This is, It's like Doom, but with Orcs and Elves. <laughs> Who would have guessed? 
I'm gonna go a close up to the screen for a second. Okay, 24 minutes. Hotel Dusk Room 215. This is game's really neat. Um, detective story. It's done in a storybook with different scenes and things. It's it's very neat, very cool. I highly suggest getting this one if you find a copy. Definitely pick it up. Very very cool. I just did the game. Very cool game. And Tomb Raider Underworld, and I think we're going to stop it there. We'll do a part two. This game's cool. Uh, it's uh, like a 2D platforming game. Very neat. I think they did a nice job considering like they the hardware that they have. They can't do a full 3D crazy game like the console version. So this one's, this one's pretty impressive. Not too bad. If you find this one, pick it up. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for the video. And uh, I'm just going to end it there. And uh, yeah, there's some good stuff for the DS and 3DS. Lots of great games. It's a good console. They're both good consoles and highly collectible. You can get a lot of games for pretty cheap as well. A lot of good games. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Stay tuned for part two.